What's up everybody? It's Yvonne with Trout's Fly Fishing back with your bi-weekly fishing report and forecast. Um, you know, I've said it's winter the last several times and it, yes it does continue to be winter but we're like, like a month away from March. A short, the shortest month of the year away from March. So changes are on the horizon. Uh, obviously it's good to see snow continue to fall in the high country. Uh, snowpack's good and healthy so um, looking forward to the next month on the water and then uh, really looking forward to my favorite bug, the blue wing olive, coming up soon enough. So let's talk about the throwback film, fly fishing film fest that's going on on uh, February 5th. We're uh, excited to put that on with F3T, The Drake, and of course Beatty Outdoor Productions. Um, so we're going to have Aria Beatty in town. Uh, he's going to be showing some of his old favorites <coughs> and uh, it's going to be a good time. All the proceeds uh, from the event go to DTU and their uh, efforts to restore the South Platte. So uh, it's an ex exciting event. Tickets are going to be uh, hard to come by coming up shortly. So uh, I would get them now and, you know, don't stress about it, you know. Let's get to Tailwaters. Decker's in 11 Mile, Cheeseman. All have remained very similar in, the, in terms of flows, very steady, uh, constant. <clears throat> Dream bumped a little bit up to 80, which is good. Always good to have more water in there as well. Um, in terms of how they're fishing, again, you know, 11 mile is always good for, uh, you know, it gives you the best chance of dry fly action um, through the winter time. So, you know, midge hatches are um, generally going to be the name of the game um, you know, through the next two weeks. So, uh, focus on 11 mile if you want dry flies. Uh, otherwise, Deckers has been fishing pretty well. Um, it is, you know, classic sort of winter tailwater stuff. You know, especially um, if you don't get a super warm day, uh, those fish are going to be sort of stuck to the bottom in the, some of the deeper runs, uh, deeper runs and pools. So I, I went there on Saturday, uh, sort of afternoon. Um, ended up having a lot of success with a uh, soft tackle PT size 16, size 18, at the end of drifts, I was getting some pretty nice eats on those, um, as well as the normal stuff, small midges, 20s, 22s, 24s, 26s, I mean, I don't know, 26s are crazy. I'd, 22 is usually the smallest I'll go, but um, you know, sometimes on a picky fish, you have to go lower. Uh, but <clears throat> you know, generally, you should start to see blue wings start to uh, make a more of an appearance in terms of uh, bug importance, but I wouldn't focus on those a ton. Again, midges and the tractors are going to be the name of the game. So <clears throat> on the dream, same thing, um, you know, attractors, uh, buckskins, worms, eggs, um, and then you know, your go-tos, your rojo midges, your, your black beauties, your RS2s, um, your pure midges, neon nightmares, all that sort of stuff will work. Um, up and down the South Platte, so uh, that's a good thing. Uh, <clears throat> we'll mention uh, the th through town Denver uh, did get a little uh, bump of fresh fish in there, so it's been recently stocked. Uh, so a little bit more viable trout fishery right now, um, especially uh, with these temperatures. So something to consider: the tractors, blue wing olives, midges. Games. It's the same game. Uh, so. Nothing compl too complicated with the bugs. When it comes to the freestones, uh, again, look for uh, sunny days. Look for you know lower or higher um, you know overnight temperatures, uh, so you don't get a ton of ice flow, icing over, and, and the like. Um, you know for you know, the freestones, you know a small uh, stonefly, a diminutive stonefly followed by like a caddis, uh, you know a, you know improved or a, soft tackle PT or something like that and then dropping off a midge is uh, generally going to be the, the uh, key to success. Again this time of year I like uh, flashy patterns so rainbow warriors, lightning bugs, um, flashbacks tend to do well for me. Again you, know, you have to pick and choose your spots uh, but it can be really good especially when you find fish uh, stacked up. That's always a good productive thing. Uh, weather forecast for the next couple couple weeks, uh, you know, looks like in the mountains, at least at Vail, sunny, 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 then another uh, storm's going to come through, and sunny, 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 so it's, uh, you know, going to be good weather, um, you know, that snow's obviously always welcomed, so um, looking forward to the uh, what the next two weeks have to offer, uh, we're going to start seeing some changes, which is always exciting, start changing up the bug choices, which is always good, um, you know, 
should be should be a good February and uh, looking forward to uh, you know March being right around the corner. Every day we get close a little closer to spring, which for me makes me a little happier. So until next time, see you guys later. Bye.